overall, this is one of the best well-rounded forex graphs I've seen in a very long time. Looking at the forex gold investor reel, this is the specific profile that I'm currently on. And I must say, just having a look at everything, it's looking really, really good. Hi there, my friend, Errol Mulia, and welcome to another video. In this specific video, we will be doing the Forex Gold Investor Review. Now, I've done a review about four months ago, and in actual fact, I'm going to do the review all over. And if you're brand new, this is the first time that you are watching any of these videos. Um, I do review videos specifically on Forex trading robots, make money online systems, etc. In order, for, in order to help you watching this video make an informed decision. Now, who am I? My name is Errol Mueller. I am actually the owner and founder of EmpireDigest.com, which is this page that you're on right now or that you see on your home screen. And I've been doing this basically since the year 2015. I started with Forex trading. I've invested in Forex trading. I've traded Forex myself. I used Forex trading robots. Um, I do PAM trading, copy trading, and I actually have multiple sources of income. My main source of income, passive income is this page right here empire digest if you want to know more about what it is that i exactly do to build up passive income do check out it's the first link in the description below this video now why should you stick around because i'm going to delve into the details of the forex gold investor i'm going to share with you the my fx book based on what they share on their home page i'm going to open it up uh, we're going to do an in-depth analysis and i'm going to point out a few things that you should pay attention to when you are looking at forex trading robots so just bear with me and make sure you watch this video right up sorry uh let me just do this right up until the end reason being is closer to the end of this video i'm going to share with you how you can go get hold of the forex gold investor uh, we are going to talk about forex vps services and why you should make use of a vps service and we are also going to talk about forex brokers so these are just a few things to pay attention to and at the same time you are going to find a wealth of knowledge within this video which you can apply basically to almost any other forex trading robot uh, that you are looking at purchasing okay before we get started on your screen right now is the disclaimer pause this video take some time read that disclaimer and let's continue along so on the home page of the forex gold investor this is what the home page looks like um, now at the time of me shooting this video they've actually got a special if you buy the forex gold investor right now then they will throw throw in the trend matrix ea for free so on the top right hand side right now it's a notification popping up where i've actually reviewed the gold investor about four months ago uh, you can also see the trend matrix ea that i've also reviewed uh, you can watch those videos and numerous other forex trading videos uh, or forex robots that i have reviewed so they will actually throw it in for free if you purchase the forex gold investor right now so i will share with you exactly where you can get hold of the forex um, gold investor okay now scrolling down what i was looking for is the actual my fx book account so as soon as you click on this one right here that they share with you the snippet forex gold investor reel it will bring you over to this my fx book account which is the same one forex gold investor reel and if you have a look at it it says real usd ic markets technical automated one to five hundred real usd ic markets technical automated one to five hundred leverage very important because Something to pay attention to is some of these guys and developers, I'm not saying Forex Gold Investor is doing it, but some of the developers out there does change these profiles, the MyFX book accounts, and they link different accounts with different names because they are trying to hide um, because that specific profile at that point in time might not have performed very well, and then they try and hide it from you. Okay, so next thing to pay attention to, as you can see, I am logged into the MyFX book account. This is my profile, Errol Mueller. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little snippet that is popping up right here. It says, this account uses a custom start date. For full history analysis, use the custom analysis tool. What this means is some developers, some robot traders, some tra robots, etc. profiles will try and hide data from you because they don't want to show you how, this, how a specific robot 
has been performing since the inception or since it started trading with a broker. Okay, so in this case, it uses the custom analysis. So I want to open up all the data just as a reference point. I want to see how it's been performing since inception. In this case, how do you uh, validate when was inception? So if you click on the general tab, well, not inception, when it was when it actually started trading with the broker, it says it started trading the year 2020, July 27th. Okay, so how do we verify that with the custom analysis? Mm -hmm. So July 27, 2020, custom analysis, you want to select all. Once you select all, you can see it is the 27th of July, 2020. And that's how you verify it. And it trades only one pair, and it is the AUX USD. You can actually select that if you want to, and then you can say all data. In this case, there is only one pair, which is the AUX USD, uh, which is gold United States dollar. Then you just say uh, show actual growth and make sure it's ticked and then you say analyze. As soon as you click analyze, it will bring up this graph right here. So all in line, very happy. Overall graph is looking phenomenal. It's looking really well or really good. Next, let's go back to track record. Needs to be verified that I'd give it a thumbs up. Uh, in this case, it is verified. What does that mean? It means there's an investor's password that gets shared uh, between the broker and my FX book. You have to link the two to one another. So it verifies that the data being shared from the broker is valid and it is legit. Next, trading privileges are shared. And in this case, they share a live update. Um, this is not always necessary as long as it updates like every few minutes or every few hours. That's also okay. Okay, in this case, updated, it says paused, I can click the refresh, and then it's going back to live, showing how it's currently trading. So that's all it does. It means then it's live consistently. It shows you the actual trading. Let's quickly see if, okay, there's no actual open trades at this point in time. Next, what you want to pay attention to is the absolute and, and the gain. doesn't matter. In this case, they've had a gain of 426% uh, since the inception or starting date of this account, which was in July 27, the year 2020, like I shared with you just now. Um, let me just turn off the live for a second to see, okay, can't turn it off, to see if I could actually just make the data to perform a little bit faster compared to what it's performing at right now. So let me just refresh this page, continue to my fixed book, general. Okay, there we go. Broker, they use IC markets. Um, I use a different broker. I've been using a different broker since the year 2015. So I've been doing this for about nine years. And I will share my broker with you in just a second, closer to the end of this video. Next, is it's, it is a real account system. It is a technical system, automated, etc. So you can see it is a real account, meaning it's trading live money. It also says here, real USD at the top. Okay. Next, it's got a monthly average gain at this point in time of 4.12%, which is phenomenal. It's actually actually very good. Looking at the overall graph, this is more of a realistic, well-rounded overall graph. I like to see these types of graphs because it's not just a very consistent line going upwards and upwards and upwards. It's also not one of these graphs that started very low and then it's got this massive up curve because I know what's going to come. That massive up spike it's eventually going to come down with a massive uh, retracement, if I can call it like that, or a pullback. And I don't want to see that. I am very happy with this overall graph of the Forex Gold Investor. Okay, next, drawdown is about 32.67% on average. If you click on the drawdown, you will actually see that the drawdown started in the year 2021, around about 24%. Then it spiked to about 32% in the year 2020, December 15th. And looking at the year 2024, as you can see, it actually started lowering quite a lot. That's good. That's what I want to see. It's about the 7%, 5%, 1%. Reason being, the lower the drawdown, the better, the less risk. So what does that mean? It means that at any point in time, if all the trades that are currently open had to close, or if it's only one trade, you are willing to risk, for instance, 30% or 7% or 10% of your account over total account balance. That is, the lower the drawdown, the better. That's just my personal opinion. Everything I share with you, uh, with you within this video is all my opinion. And you can do with it whatever you want. Okay, so my recommendation is the lower the drawdown, the better. 
Next, balance, it's currently sitting at $1,301 uh, plus minus. And then the deposit they made initially is about $247 or deposits in total. How do we verify the deposit? Okay, so I'm going to scroll down quickly. I'm going to head over to the history tab. Uh, we're gonna, there's a lot more we're going to share within this video, so just bear with me. And then while scrolling down, I want to open up the very last page, page 71 at this point in time of me shooting this video. So I cannot see the deposits right here, so which is telling me that there is, there's no more data. I cannot, because as you can see, it stops at 1610. And the initial deposit was made on 2707-2020. So it tells me that, the, that it cannot go back that far to share the data with you or the history. Because as you can see, the history is 1,400 trades. That is a lot. Okay, that is a lot. Okay, so I can unfortunately not share with you the initial deposit because I cannot see it. Okay, so it's not a, a bad thing. Um, it's ju it just means that... The, my FX book does not keep that amount of data in history of trades. Okay. So next is what you want to do is, okay, before we continue, right now at the time of you watching this video, if you find that this video is of valuable content to you, I would really appreciate it if you can give this video a like, just give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like it, share this video, leave me a comment with your honest opinion. And then secondly, uh, just below this video, there will be a little button that says thanks with like a little dollar sign. And I think it's a hot. If you want to, please give me a thanks. Help me sponsor this channel. Um, leave me a thanks because this is what keeps this channel going. This is what keeps these types of videos going is you watching this video with the support of you watching these videos. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you and I thank you. So if you want to, you're more than welcome to give me a, a thanks. Click on that little thanks button with a heart and a dollar sign and you're more than welcome to, to sponsor me. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue along. Next, what we do want to pay attention to is you want to head over to the scrolling, scrolling down just a little. The summary. So what the summary is, it shows you once again how many pairs are trading. In this case, just one pair. And we also confirmed that by setting the custom analysis. Now, what you can also do is looking at the duration of trades. Very important. So what does this mean? Okay, so in this case, you can see the majority of trades closes within 18 hours. And then this one is just over one day. We've got a few trades trading at two days and we had a loss trade at about four days not bad at all okay so every trade that stays open for longer than 24 hours means you're going to pay swaps on it what is swaps it's basically fees you have to pay for the trade or rent call it rent as an example for letting the trade stay open with a broker for longer than 24 hours so if the trade ends up in a profit you will pay a certain percentage in overnight swaps if it ends up in a loss you're still going to pay swaps uh, so then it becomes a loss and a loss so try and keep the amount of trading days open trades uh, to the lowest amount of days possible Okay, in this case, the longest was four days. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. And then next, what you want to do is scroll down. That's the history. Open trades are not shared. Okay. The trading history. Very important. I prefer having, if I decide to buy a forex trading robot, my personal opinion, I look at things like I want the trading history to be at least three years and upwards, five years and upwards. The longer the history, the better. Just means that it went through very volatile situations within the market. Makes a big difference. In this case, 2020, this is when they started out, was performing. Then the year 2021, as you can see, um, a few lost months, which is good. You want to see these actual live charts going up and down. Not everything just always goes up. Somewhere along the line, it does come down. Believe me. <laughs> Like I said, I've been in this for nine years. I know what I'm talking about. I personally have I've lost and blown accounts. I've blown numerous accounts and I've had massive successes. But I had to go through that learning curve, those failures in order to get to the successes. Failures is just a building block towards your successes. And then you will take a dive down again. Once you've read, success is just a, 
a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Because once you get to the point to where you want to get to, um, you will see how you can go further. Okay, if that makes sense. And then you'll set new goals. Okay, so 2022, 2023, and then 2024. 2024 actually started very well, looking at a 16% gain and a 6.9%. Currently at the month in the month of March, it's sitting at 3.9%. That is not bad. That is really good. Okay, so next, so how can you get hold of the Forex Gold Investor? And I'm quickly going to share with you my broker as well as talk about a Forex VPS service. So in the description, the first link uh, below this video, it will open up this page. I want you to scroll down all the way to the bottom to where it says Forex. Click on the Forex page. Once you've clicked on the Forex page, um, you can get hold of the Forex Gold Investor by heading over to the Forex Trading Robots. Click the Learn More button, and then once on Forex Trading Robots, scroll down. There's some numerous other Forex robots for you to check out, the reviews, etc. And here you will find Forex Gold Investor. Click the Access Now button, and it will take you to the homepage of Forex Gold Investor. So going back one, let's talk about brokers. My recommended broker that I've been using since the year 2015. I, I think I actually started with him back in the year 2014. Doesn't matter. Forex Trading Brokers, right here. Click on the learn more button. Okay, once learn more, I want you to scroll down and then you will see FX open. Click access now. That is my broker. Going back one page, I want you to have a look at Forex VPS services. Learn more. What is a Forex VPS service? A Forex VPS service is a virtual private server. And that means that what you want to do is you're actually renting service space. Call it a PC or a laptop. On a server then what you would do is you would install your metatrader 4 metatrader 5 on the server and then you would link your robot um, obviously attach your robot to the charts and the pairs that you're currently trading why use a forex vps service because a forex vps service basically runs 24 7 um, and it's it's got a an uptime, you call it an uptime of 99.99%. If they do have some downtime coming or maintenance scheduled, they will let you know ahead of time. And you can pause your robot, you can close down your charts and or MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 platform, let them schedule the maintenance, do the maintenance. Once done, you just start everything back up. And it usually happens within one day. And then you're up and running again. Okay, so secondly is... A, a forex robot does not not like interruptions meaning internet interruptions if you don't have a stable internet or a consistent internet connection don't go for forex trading robots secondly if your laptop or pc performance is not very good and it also um, and it's also dipping down every now and then don't do forex trading robots Forex trading robots uses a lot of calculations and a lot of indicators built into it in order to know when to open a trade, close a trade, take a profit, uh, take a loss, etc., etc. And at any point in time, if you mess with the calculations and the indicators and the robot doesn't know what to do, you can end up blowing your account, take a huge loss, also make huge profits, but it's not sustainable. Okay, so that's just my recommendation. Uh, it's entirely up to you, depending on what you want to do. I'm just sharing valuable information with you. And then here's some recommended ones. Scala Hosting, FX Open, and AccuWeb Hosting. You can pick any one of the three. It's entirely up to you. Um, I will continue adding to the list as I go through them, as I kind of validate them. Same with uh, Forex Brokers. So once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Give this video a like. Leave me a comment. May you watching this video have a blessed, wonderful, happy, loving, financially successful good life going forward. Please stay tuned, uh, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in my next video. Enjoy.